What's going on, everybody? Happy Monday. I had to think what day I was putting the video out there for me. It was drawing a blank. Got a little PSA reveal. Again, a lot of these five-card economies, not all five cards are mine. Like, today's only four. But, started off, I picked this up on the old bay. This goes with the other one that I already have. So, now I own two out of the 12. Don't know if I'm going to try to go for all 12 just to have something cool or not. But, picked it up and... Dude, I had listed the wrong time and with the wrong stuff, and I picked it up dirt cheap. Makes you happy. Makes you happy. But let's keep going on here. So economy, this was G the end of January's um, first event. Had five on the allocation. Um, this first card right here I picked up at a Lexington show last summer, I believe it was. And I picked a bunch of stuff up from people. If you remember, I had like all the Durant stuff, the LeBron stuff, a um, couple Kobe pieces and stuff. So this was the better out of the Fleer EX. I figured it was going to be an 8. They put in that thick case too, which really surprised me here. Um, I was expecting this, but I was hoping for a 9 on too because it was really, really close. But it did get the 8. These are real hard to grade. Um, these are not like the glass inserts that we see nowadays, but there we go. It's kind of hard because it's like coming back and forth on me. With what I paid for this plus the um, grading, well, if it sells for its price, I'm still up like 10, 15 bucks. So I took a gamble knowing that I had some other stuff in the order and that would make up for it if it came back in eight, which I'm glad, it, uh, you know, I did have other stuff. All right, up next, my Bowman continues with the nines. Blaze Jordan has haunted me. Every Blaze Jordan I've owned has come back of nine. This is the Aqua Shimmer, um, numbered out of, was it, 125. I think, I, can't, I don't want to quote this, but I think a Raw did like 200 on this. So it still gives a little bit of value. I hit this in a bigger mixer break with a couple other Blazes and stuff. So, basically, I'm in this very, very low, maybe grading, plus a little bit, maybe 20, 30 bucks on, too, because it was a filler that I actually hit on this. So, not bad, not bad at all, but I'll, I, I can't, went on Blaze. We got one more Blaze out next order. We'll see. Maybe one will finally 10 for me out there. All right. You guys probably know, next two are going to be 10s. Oh, hit the camera. My bad, guys. Jacob Monster pulled me this in a break of Bowman's Best. I had the Dodgers. Um, I also had, I think, the Red Sox trying to get the uh, Marcelo autos and just struck out. This 10. Bowman's Best, to me, has always been a very good product to 10 in. Green Refractor. Raw is like 75 bucks, so you're probably looking maybe 300 bucks for this, roughly. Really, really cool. Um think I paid like 70 bucks for the team itself. So plus the 50 to grade it. So 120. So I should be able to double my money on this, which is good in the long run for investment wise. This is one of ones. I don't know if I'm going to sell or hold it, to be honest. He was the hype in one of the products this year. I can't remember if it was draft, chrome, whatever. I'm not a big Bowman head like I used to be anymore. So trying to remember will not help. Last card. Along with the Kobe, I picked this LeBron James up. It's a 2007 Ultra Gold Medallion. I've been very well holding off on sending this card in with a couple other ones. And I said, what the heck, let's toss it in. If it nines, I'll do still fairly well onto it. I paid $10 for this card in a box. $10. Can you believe that? I tend it. Was not expecting this at all to 10. If you guys watched Overtime, this is where the one where we and Joey were talking about. And he was like, holy crap, I can't believe we did it. Pop 13. Very, very hard grades. These were very hard pulls in Ultra. I think you might have gotten one per box during this error. But to 10, I am very, very happy on to it. Um... Really, really cool. My estimated value on this, because 
I believe there was something I was looking at sold at 900. I'm guessing because James's stuff did take a small dip, but with a higher pop count, I'm guessing low end, maybe 650, high end 800 on this. But this here made my order because I'm in it for 60 bucks either way. So really, really cool onto this. Um, I know if I post this anywhere, it'll go quick just because the low pop count on to it. So very, very happy with the order overall. I mean, other than my streak on Blaze Jordans, which I kind of figured going into it, and the Kobe possibly having a chance at a nine, um, I ran it. And my, like I said, basically I was baking my money on these two cards here, this tenning, and, you know, kind of doubling my money onto it, which would give me profit. The Blaze gives me a little bit of profit onto it. But if this were a nine, it was just like one of them orders, well, hey, you know, you can't always look at making the big profits, but if I, you can make, you know, a couple hundred off a PSA order, that's good to me. But other than that, guys, remember, profits aren't always about how big and small it is at the end of the year. It's what your overall number is going to be, and that's what it will reflect on. All right, guys, for the rest of the week, I'm going to go over an app you guys might find interesting, and then you're going to get three days of Pokemon booster boxes. So if you're not a Pokemon person, you probably uh, want to skip over three days' worth there. But unless something else comes up, and I'll probably just tag it along with the Pokemon stuff. Next Friday, no overtime as all uh, as I put out on Friday as I like as always. Wow, woo! Long days you can see here. Um, Saturday, I'm set up in Louisville. If you're up in the Louisville area or coming to the show, come by, see me. I think this might be the show where I hand out some uh, free packs to kids. So if you got kids, um, hit me up. Let me know because I don't want to like do it and then I only have to hand out like four packs or something. It'd kind of be kind of crazy in a way. But um, yeah, hit me up if you guys plan on coming out to Louisville. I know a couple people always try to make the drive out and stuff like that, which I always do appreciate because there's always dry moments in the show and it's good to talk there, buddy. But that, guys. And girls, gals, however you want to be recognized. Kind of sounds weird saying gals because that's how they say it down here. You guys have a good week. I will catch you guys next videos all throughout the week. Probably won't be alive until ooh, the following week we'll do overtime. So as long as I'm not set up a show, we'll be looking at probably Friday overtimes unless I have a far drive for a Saturday show. All right. Thanks for watching.